everyone. Um, here's a quick little video how to make an emergency whistle out of a pop can. Uh, there's not many places you could go in the wilderness where you can't find a uh, pop can or beer can or something kicking around and you know in an uh, emergency situation a whistle can come in really handy. Um, and all you need is a, a knife or even a sharp rock or anything that can uh, cut the can um, into a couple little strips. Now you don't need to cut all the way through the tin can, you just gotta uh, get a nice straight score line in it and uh, then you, you can actually just fold it along that line and it should just tear in a nice straight line. You just gotta watch it for the sharp edges when you're tearing it. So what you want is you want two strips that are um, about a three-eighths or a half an inch wide. If it's a little wider, that should be all right as well. So I'm just making two score marks here, and then I will uh, fold it along the two score marks to, to make the two nice straight strips that, that we're looking for. And right there, you can, you can see how I just scored just enough there to, to make a line in it. I'll take one piece here and, and fold it around the other one. Um, I didn't mark the length of these ahead of time. <coughs> but you fold it over, then uh, you want it to meet about halfway. So I'll t I just fold it over and then I'll I'll, I'll cut it um, after I've got it folded, and then I don't have to measure anything or uh, there's no guesswork, so I won't cut it uh, too short accidentally. So after I have it folded, I'll slide it back on, um, and then I'll fold the end of the, the other piece over that seam, just to kind of hold everything in place. There, you can kind of see how I fold it over. Then I'll bend it down to 90, and uh, figure out about how much I need. You just want enough to make a little loop um, after that 90 degree fold.
here and just make a little loop. Then you want to just take the tip of your knife or a sharp stick or whatever and just open up that spot just a little bit so the air will go through over top of the other piece. Then you want to hold it in such a way that your fingers work as the side of the whistle and the curved piece comes right up and almost meets the back end of uh, where you poked your knife through. And there you go. Thanks for watching.